Good morning, friends. It is Friday. So that means it is menu plan. And since it's the end of the month, it is our monthly grocery haul. So this month we did Walmart pickup. We did, of course, Orto direct produce, which we do twice a month. Um, where else do we go? Oh, and Aldi, because Walmart screwed a few things up. It, it was a whole hot mess. There was a glitch in their system and it doubled a lot of the things I put in the cart. So, but they couldn't fix it. it. It was too much to even explain. Just let me say it was a hot mess. So I had to go to Aldi to fill some things in. And of course I only needed three things and ended up spending like, you know, $70 or $60 there. Um, nose is itchy. So we're gonna get right into the menu, but I wanna show you something first. I wanna show you the shirt I'm wearing today. Um, I got this shirt as a gift from Judy, who was a subscriber and actually a friend who we've actually met in person and, and everything. She's a real sweetheart and she sent me this shirt and I just want to show it to you. Chasing chickens is my cardio. How cute is this? I love it. So I couldn't wait to wear it. And it's true. As the chickens get bigger, they get faster and they fly a little. So getting a little harder. But anyway, let's turn around. Let's look at the menu for the week and we'll get right into the grocery haul. Okay, for our breakfast this week, on Sunday, as always, sourdough pancakes and sausage. Monday and Tuesday, Doug has asked for egg bites. So we're gonna make some egg bites in the Instant Pot. Wednesday, oatmeal bowls. And an oat, there's really no recipe for an oatmeal bowl. I just make steel cut oatmeal. And then Doug likes a chunky monkey bowl, we call it. It's bananas and peanut butter and nuts. So that's what I put in his and a little bit of brown sugar. Sometimes I'll do nuts and peanut butter or some kind of nut butter in mine. Other times I'll do nuts and blueberries. Sometimes I'll throw some coconut in. It depends. I try to stay four points for the oatmeal and two points for the add-ins. Thursday breakfast sandwiches. Friday, French toast in a mug. And the points on this are gonna depend on your bread. That's where it comes down to. If you use like the 647 bread or the Sara Lee Light, it's gonna be two points. I use my homemade bread, so it's four points. But the recipe is on the website, so you can alter it however you see fit. On Saturday, some kind of omelets and, or eggs and bacon. On Sunday, we never eat lunch because we have a late breakfast. Mm. Monday for lunch, leftover Big Mac Sloppy Joes. We're having those on Sunday for dinner. And I'll have it probably not on a bun. I'll just have it over some shredded lettuce. Tuesday, tuna sandwiches. Wednesday, strawberry spinach salad with poppy seed dressing. Thursday, chicken salad. Friday, egg salad sandwich. And Saturday, some sort of clean out the fridge picky plate. For dinners, we're gonna do, like I said, the Big Mac Sloppy Joes on Sunday. And we'll eat those on my homemade buns. And we'll have sweet potato fries that I do in the air fryer. All I do is peel the sweet potatoes and then I cut them into fry-like shapes, toss them with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika and a little bit of garlic powder. Throw them in the air fryer at 400. And then I just toss them a few times in there and they usually take about 15 minutes. Monday, sensational salad. Basically it's a salad with chicken and cheeses is what it comes down to and bacon. And honey mustard dressing is what we serve on that. Tuesday, chicken scampi over rice with a vegetable. Wednesday, pork chops in onion gravy with mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Thursday's a new recipe. Parmesan chicken penne, not to be confused with chicken Parmesan pasta. This, there's no red sauce or no mozzarella in it. It's just chicken and noodles and Parmesan cheese and peas. Friday, homemade pizza. And Saturday, we'll probably be at my brother's for pinochle night, so we'll have dinner there. And I'm getting back to a more scheduled workout. I've been working out every morning um, but mostly doing hit. I'm back to incorporating some runs in. So I'm going to try to run two days a week and do hit three to four times a week. 
And I have not made muffins in weeks. I need to make some muffins this week. So maybe today, we'll see. So there it is, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for next week. Okay, starting with Aldi. I picked up some carrots, even though I have them being delivered with our Orto box, just because we've been flying through carrots. So I decided to just grab another two pound bag while I was there. I grabbed two mangoes and they had watermelon and this looks like a pretty good one. I know they're out of season, but you know me and my watermelon. I grabbed some baby spinach. That's for the strawberry spinach salads coming up. Three bags of jumbo shrimp for various recipes and eating. Some, they call them biscuit ham slices. It's Canadian bacon. And I believe you can have two ounces for one point. I know that generally two pieces of it is like a half an ounce, like it's zero points for two pieces. And that's what I use on my breakfast sandwiches. So it's a really good deal. I grabbed two bags of frozen corn because corn is not in season and I like corn. So I will go for the frozen. And this is a, was on the special aisle. This is so good. It is so good. And it's got pretty good ingredients. Nothing funky. Except the natural flavors. That always worries me. But it's really good. So I picked up two things of those. Two things of fat-free half and half. Aldi brand fat-free half, fat half and half. The Friendly Farms is the only brand of fat-free half and half. I can find that does not have corn syrup in it. So that is the only place I will buy it. Picked up some non-fat Greek yogurt, a bag of our favorite, we haven't had these in a while, the tortilla chips. And of course, it's been a while. So we are having a little treat. One night we'll have some chips and some queso. Not something we've been eating on the regular, but it's a nice treat once in a while. And like I've said before, Nobody eats 100% perfectly. We all need our treats now and then. So that's mine. And then I picked up four cans of solid white tuna in water. So that was it for Aldi. I believe it was right around the $50 mark. Okay, at Walmart, I got two pounds of strawberries, four cans of petite diced tomatoes, one jar of whole pepperoncinis, some horseradish, two pounds of butter, a jar of the sandwich slice Clausen dill pickles, mandarin oranges in 100% juice, some heavy whipping cream, two bags of mixed vegetables and one bag of peas. These are all for various recipes. A block of Colby Jack cheese, a block of extra sharp cheddar, and a two pound block of mozzarella. Um, these are four points for an ounce. I think this one's three points for an ounce and mozzarella is three points for an ounce. I got, this was supposed to be one 10 pound bag of sugar, but they were out of that. So they substituted three four pound bags, so score. I got two extra pounds of sugar. And a box of cake flour. I need that for my chicken pot pie. Um, that's what you make the noodles with. So that was my little Walmart haul. And that was, I forget, 60 and change. Okay, last but not least, my Orto produce delivery. I got a bunch of bananas, a cantaloupe, pineapple, five navel oranges, a three pound bag of clementines. I got three honey crisp apples and three, I think they're Bosch, is that how you say that? Bosch pears, all of which I'm allergic to, so they're for Doug. <laughs> Two kiwis. And for veggies, I got three zucchini. I got an egg corn squash. I, I know it's not squash season, but it just sounded really good. I got some red leaf lettuce and green leaf lettuce. Still taking a break from the romaine. I got two pounds of onions, 
couple of heads of broccoli florets, some cauliflower, two pounds of carrots, some green beans, mushrooms, two ears of corn, and four sweet potatoes. I would like this to think this is gonna last for two weeks, but who am I kidding? I'm hoping to get a week out of it. Not necessarily the fruit. I think I can make that last, but I don't think these veggies are gonna last. I'm gonna have to uh, reevaluate my produce shopping, I think, and maybe start ordering double and see if it keeps. I know things like, if I store it correctly, like the, the cauliflower and the broccoli, the sweet potatoes, they'll all keep. So I'll have to, I'll have to figure it out. But there is my Orto produce order and it was $50.09. So there you have it, my friends. That is what we're eating for dinner this week. As always, all the recipes are on my website and the menu on the main page will be updated probably Friday night, tonight, or Saturday morning, depending on when I get to it. So make sure you head over there to grab all the recipes. You can also grab a blank copy of my menu planner. Just click on the free printables link and there's a bunch of different ones for you to try and a bunch of different printables. So as always, completely free. So try out whatever one fits your fancy. So that is it for me. I am out of here. Have a fabulous weekend. I will see you Sunday night for a weekend vlog and who knows, maybe a video or two in between. We'll see how much time I have. So have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and let me know in the comments below what is on your menu for the week. I am always looking for some great new ideas and that is it. I will talk to you all very soon. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you know someone who would benefit from this video. Have a great day.